Assalamu alaikum and uh, welcome to the Busy Woman's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make mango chutney. This is a request from a very dear friend called Cindy from America. Uh, she came to visit me and whilst on a visit she enjoyed the mango chutney uh, which was one of the, I think it was uh, pataks um, in a jar. Now. I have to be honest, I have not made this before, so it's there's always first time for everything. I am going to give it a try because one of my family members recently made some and it was really, really nice, far more superior to the, um, the ones that you get in jars. Obviously, they have added preserved preservatives and so on, which we want to avoid and we want to make it. I can't really say it's going to be overly healthy because it does have a few ingredients which you would want to avoid but unfortunately without that ingredient we cannot go ahead okay so what we've chosen is mangoes now it's not mango season uh, and uh, I would prefer to use um, what is it Pakistani Alfonso mangoes if at all possible but uh, they're not in season. We've got the Brazilian ones. These are very, very nice as well. Uh, it's funnily enough, mangoes were quite rare once upon a time. Now they're available all season. So you can indulge in the season mangoes, which I hope to introduce you to uh, once the summer months come ahead and, uh, you know, when we get the real beautiful Pakistani mangoes in season. At the moment, uh, we've got the Venezuelan ones and uh, the Brazilian ones in season. Okay, so we're going to be using five mangoes. Then I've got a jug full of uh, brown sugar. This is Demerara sugar. You can use uh, unrefined cane sugar if you want. Um, we've got garlic and ginger. Okay, I'm not going to be using all that ginger. I've already made a paste, so I'm going to be using that. Uh, we've got a couple of sticks of cinnamon, a few cloves, about 10 cloves, crushed chilli and salt. Okay, now what you want to do with these ingredients is obviously peel the garlic and the, uh, gin uh, garlic and the ginger and uh, grind it into a pulp. Uh, the mangoes you need to take and take off the peel and uh, um, dice them into small cubes and then we're going to proceed with the cooking. Okay, so the mango has all been cut up into, diced into cubes. Uh, it looks absolutely scrumptiously beautiful. Beautiful yellow colour on it. So we're just going to turn on the gas and start to let this cook. Uh, the things that we're going to add to this is sugar and once the sugar goes in it's gonna start to water so we're gonna have quite a bit of shake it about just leave it and let the water soak out now we have got the chilies and the garlic crushed. We're going to add two spoons, two teaspoons, two tablespoons of crushed garlic and chili. And we're also going to drop in our, now we're going to leave this whole because once we've made the Chutney, we want to take these out, we want to leave them in. And I'll leave the salt and the chili powder to add last. So we're just going to let this simmer. Oops. Shake. Let this water up and then just basically dry everything out. Ok, 
Okay, so let your um, sauce cook until it becomes really nice and thick and uh, the juices are less. Now I've added the stones also to the <coughs> to the uh, pan and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, take out the, once it's fully cooked, I'm going to take out the stones and also take out the you know, whole spices that I put, a full stick of cinnamon somewhere along in there. Yeah, there we are. There's the stick of cinnamon. We're going to take that out and we're also going to take, if I can see the cloves, I'll take them out as well. Um, they are quite strong uh, and if they come into your mouth, they're, ugh, they're not overly nice. What you can do is, if it seems like just a little bit too thick, then you can take the blender and just whisk it slightly so that some pieces are left whole and some pieces are crushed. But it's cooking nicely and I think I'm going to leave them as chunks. I won't use the machine. I'm just going to let it slightly dry out and then uh, take out the whole spices, take out the stones because the stones, I feel that they will most likely have their own preserving uh, thing inside them. So I'm going to take out, you know, try and scrape away some of the uh, goodness away from them. And then once they're just left as stones, I'll dispose of them. Um, in the pan, what I've done is boiled the jars in some water that I'm going to be using to actually jar this open so that the jars are sterilized and uh, ready for the jam to be sterilized. Now once I've uh, steril uh, put this into the sterilized pot, I will seal it and place the jars back in the water, let the water boil for a bit so that it gets um, the air inside it just gets trapped and uh, seals up. And actually uh, I tried this with the pickle and when you open it you hear a click it normally when it is you know and this I mean this really uh, chutney is ready to serve as soon as it cools down so I am going to take it into my class and give my classmates a taste of my wonderful chutney it has a beautiful beautiful flavor I tell you I it's the first time I've made this but it's something that I I feel that I will be making regularly absolutely gorgeous do share uh, and do try out you know, if anything, I think the best way to find out if something is good is to try it out. And without trying it, how are we going to ever know? So anyway, good, happy cooking and enjoy, join me again in the Busy Woman's Kitchen where we shall be working a way to do some wonderful other dishes that I hope to serve with these wonderful chutneys and pickles.